Hey, everybody, welcome to this episode of the Disc Golf Answer Man. Hey, Disc Golf Answer Man, this is Jared from San Diego. Um, first of all, thanks for what you guys do. Love listening to your podcast. Always good stuff. But um, quick question for you. The other day, I was putting in my backyard, and my first putt went in, and then when I went to do my second putt, it hit the chains, and it knocked my first putter out of the basket. It like popped it up from the basket, and it fell into the ground. So I was thinking, if that were to happen in a tournament round, let's say, if player A, you know, puts it in, but they don't go clear it, and then player B puts it in, and it pops player A's putter out, does player A then have to tap it in, and that's another stroke? Or how does that work? I could probably look it up, but I didn't think about it. Um, and it just came to mind as I was putting it in my backyard. But if you guys have an answer, that would be fantastic. But like I said, thanks for what you guys do. Love listening to you guys. Hope you have a good day. All right. Bye. This kind of applies to the previous question. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was going to say. Once the lie's established, your putter is in the basket. Doesn't matter. That's You've counted it. So even if it gets knocked out by another disc or whatever, that's in. Now. Uh-oh. If your putter is in the basket and player B in this situation chooses to putt and their putter gets knocked out by yours or something like that, that's player B's fault and they do have to tap back in. So there's no interference with that unless player A was intentionally leaving it in there to mess with them. If they if player B says you can just leave it, they toss it in and it like trampolines off of it and out. That's you still have to tap. In. Right. Because you have as player B has every right to say, please hey, clear can, it out. Yeah, please. And clear it, your- literally, I don't care how close I am to the basket unless I'm arm's length and dropping it in. I will always ask the player to clear their putter out. I just I'm not taking that risk. I've seen yeah. him hit the chains with the putter face down trampoline bounce. Yeah. Bounce on top and just trampoline over the edge. Don't do it.